Hey everyone, back one more time for another activity that you guys can use in your classrooms. This time, we're going for a Spanish activity. So this one is really, really great. It's going to be something that you can incorporate in a middle school or even a high school, or even for some of you guys, you may even have lessons that go into an elementary school. This is great for the students. This is going to be very impactful. They're going to be engaged. They're going to be talking in the target language, which is what we really need them to start doing. Okay? My wife teaches a foreign language. She always tells me that the target language is the key. That's what they need to get into, and getting them motivated and involved in this is something that needs to always happen. Administrators are looking for activities like this, and this is a great one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get ready to turn the camera around so you guys can actually see what's going on here, and we can talk about this lesson and then maybe see it in action. So let's get started. So this lesson is from the Engaged Spanish Classroom, okay? You can find them on Teachers Pay Teachers, okay? And this gives you the terms of use. This gives you exactly what you need to know about this store right here, okay? You are the purchaser. It tells you what you can do and what you cannot do, okay? Cool thing is this lesson is pretty updated. It was made just in 2018, okay? So... You can basically make one copy for backup. You can make copies for your classroom, homeschooling, or tutoring. However, do not claim this as your own work. Please give credit where credit is due. Okay? Don't alter this or attempt to remove any copyright or watermarks. Okay? Don't try to sell this product. Okay? And don't try to share this with others. Okay? They need to buy this from the Engaged Spanish Classroom. All right? All right, this is the company of Aaron. And Aaron, I want to thank you for taking part in this activity. So let's show you what this looks like, okay? So here's the title. And please pardon me, I am not a language person, and I won't pl try to play one on TV. But this is called Cita Cortes, Preterite Tense, okay? The Preterite is one of your tenses that you will use throughout your writing and your speaking. And you can see right here what the activity kind of looks like. All right, so let's scroll down a little bit here. So you see here, you've got the beginning of this, and this activity is starting off, it's like a speed dating, okay? So you have a checklist of questions for students, okay, to use with a partner. So this is a partner activity, okay? This is great for that interaction and speaking, okay? They have one minute to respond. This is like speed dating. It'll be awesome for your kids, okay? See, there's 10 questions right here. They check off the questions that they ask their partners, and you're going to have 10 rounds of this, so what they ask them, okay? And then they respond aloud to the question that their partner asks in return. They try to ask and answer as many as they can in each round before the timer goes off. At the timer, one student gets up and rotates to another partner. And after the activity, the students complete the self-reflection. Well, guess what? I'm going to show you here the self-reflection sheet, which is right here, okay? You're going to reflect on what you did, okay? And this is put back on the, to assess which questions they need to review and which grammar structures they may have had trouble with. This is great for a teacher to definitely use in the classroom because guess what? We can see what language skills they're struggling with, what vocab they're struggling with, what verb tenses they're struggling with. This is going to be very key and very important. This could be a great review activity. This could be a great after you've taught the lesson on the tense, okay, that you can actually use this. So let's look at this together and while it's only going to be me, I can kind of show you how this might look in action. So let's get ready to do that. All right, so I've got my activity. I printed it out. I've also got my reflection sheet. So I am all set and ready to go. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pretend that basically there's someone across from me and I'm gonna ask them a question, okay? And I'm gonna to try to, desperately, probably fail miserably, speak in Spanish so that you can see what these questions would be. So if you're a Spanish teacher, you'll get this. The rest of me, us, who don't know Spanish, sorry. Um, but hey, this will be great to incorporate and do. The instructions, okay, they're in Spanish for you. They have nombre, clase, feche, so name, class, date, okay? All right. So the first question I would ask them is, Adonde fusta ayer? They would give me a response. I'd check off. 
by Asimut. Second question, que comista anoche? They'd answer the question, I'd check it off. Estudiaste anoche? I'm going to take a guess here based on my years ago of Spanish from high school, which I am so sorry to my teacher for all those horrible activities that I did and how horrible I did, but that's a story for another day. Did you study last night? And they would tell me. Question four is, hablaste espanol ayer? And I'd check off if I did it. Then question five is, mereste televisión en noche? I believe, did you watch television last night? Again, if I'm butchering these, I'm sorry. My next question, question six, would be, comest el destorno hoy? Question seven, practicaste un deporte ayer? Question eight, te dormiste temprano en noche? Nine, participaste en tu clase hoy? Slash ayer. And question ten, hablaste con amigos esta mañana? So again, I would go through, I would check off what I need to make sure that everyone sees and gets what they want. And then finally, I would complete my reflection, okay? Uh, may, they have a great rating system up here at the top of the paper that you can kind of rate how you feel you have done, okay? And then you have your questions for the students to be able to answer and reflect upon. This paper here is gonna be great for the teacher, okay? They're gonna want this to know how did this go? This rating system, sure, you're probably going to want to check it to see what rotations you got and how it went. But this is the meat of what you need. And if since it's a reflection, there's no need for a key here. So your teachers, when you get this, this is what you're looking for. I would also recommend if you are a new teacher, check this out. Talk to people maybe in your county or in your school if you have other people who work with this. And work together. Maybe a really cool idea would be is if you combine classes and you have one class asking questions to another class so that you guys can, can together assess where your kids are if they're at the same level. If you have a higher class and a lower class, maybe the higher class is the one asking the questions, the one answering is the lower class, and then switch. This would be a really neat opportunity for those kids, okay? And so you know, I have an administrative certification. Obviously, I'm still in the classroom, okay? But... I'm trying to give you guys advice on what administrators would look for when it comes to this. I've written curriculum. This is a really great activity. It's going to give you the feedback of, do your kids know the concept? Do they not? And, and the big thing is going to be, make sure that you are incorporating these into curriculum guides, okay? Obviously, if you do this, you're going to have to buy more licenses for this. Don't just take this and make copies that's illegal. You have to buy multiple licenses, okay? So make sure you do that, okay? Again, this is from the Spanish classroom. This lesson itself, guys, is a free trial from this classroom. So that's awesome. You can download this one for free. And then there's some other amazing activities that they have, okay? So Aaron, thank you for sending this to me so that I can share this with everyone on here. I hope that this helps you guys. I hope that this is beneficial for everyone. And we'll come back and have some different lessons to incorporate in your classroom and incorporate in your school. So we'll talk to you again next time, guys.